hope everybody is having a good new year. I'm trying to get out a, a video that I've, I've already posted the video two or three times, and every time it seems like when I talk about the Rothschilds, I get um, it gets blocked. Um, I'm just telling you right now, so in case it does get through, you know, um, you know how many times I've been trying to get this video um, I, uh, I, I I my videos are different than other people's because I don't sugarcoat things and I get right down to the what I see happening like I do believe that our country is being run like a giant, giant Enron and almost exactly like Enron and there's there's great false scarcity and um, like you know Cap and trade that, that might not be bad, but it is when there isn't a real scarcity. It's like 0.055, um, one half of 1% of all, all the, uh, the, the money in the world, 90% 90, 90 of all the uh, money, like in the United States and probably in the whole world, goes to about 0.05, one half of 1%. Uh, people and that they hoard that money and that's why it doesn't uh, go anywhere see like any money any money at all like if you pay uh, ten dollars for whatever it is a hammer and uh, then all of a sudden that money somewhere in the transaction that money disappears uh, there, there's a problem it becomes the hammer becomes expensive or becomes unavailable or whatever. Well, that's what happens when you, you don't you don't have real money because you know you have credit, but you don't have the money becomes okay. Here's what happens: the dollar, the actual value of the dollar falls. You know, when in the like, um, and so um, you're you're creating. By, by hoarding money, you are creating, you know, a, a false scarcity of, of money, actually. And um, then the money, the money that they do have, they're spending on things like war and stuff like that, and even putting it more and more into just certain hands. Uh, I might have gotten blocked too because I spoke about um, the fact that since the 1700s. Protocol uh, that the Rothschilds really um, did uh, take over England and France's central banks in the 1700s through the use of the stock market, and they use the stock market today to, to do a lot of Ponzi schemes. The, the, the stock market really is the real Ponzi scheme of all Ponzi schemes because they'll take something with a triple A rating like Lehman Brothers and make it an F rating. And, and it might actually be an upgrade because they they prop up these companies with uh, with money and then they take the money back out again. They they get every, they get people suckered in and then they take it all out again because they're the ones that put it in there to make it a triple A rating. And and actually the companies would be better off if they weren't in the stock market at all because because like I say you've got these these behemoths. It's all I like penny stock for now because they have so much of control of the companies because they have so much money. It's just like the Federal Reserve has got so much money in these companies and they really shouldn't be in these companies at all. And Obama's right involved with these, the old, the old, not right involved with the stock market and the whole thing. And it's all the criminal protocol. And he is the one person that wouldn't have to. He's the president of the United States. He could tell the um, bankers to take a, a fly and jump off a bridge, and he should. And he should tell the stock market to, to do the same, that they to, uh, need to disclose uh, what they've been doing. And he should tell the CIA to do uh, full disclosure and, and forget all this defense. We could defend ourselves if we didn't even have an army over here, let alone an army in every other country. As big as we are, it's 
technological as we are, we can put an army together in a second. Who are we fighting anyway? Who's going to come over here and fight us? What? A, a couple of terrorists? You know, we, we, we should put them on public trial and find out what, what the beef is, you know, and, and put them in jail for life if that's, or, or, or even execute them if that's what, if that's what the, you know, you got some people. But let's find out what the whole thing is. Let's not do a witch trials where we torture somebody over and over again and then um, say that they uh, did some hokey pokey stuff that we don't, you know, we can't prove or disprove or anything else. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to make this video shorter, but, uh, you know, I, I really do, I'm very disgusted with our whole, with our whole country going it's just getting worse and worse and more like Enron and and more people violating our rights and you know people think you gotta be forced to to buy into this insurance which is another uh, thing like you're locked into a going to a church and they lock the doors on you where you gotta go to that church and listen to something you don't that you shouldn't even have horrible. It's just criminal. It's what it is. It really is criminal. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good, happy new year. Oh, one other thing. And I, I mentioned the Rothschilds because they did create the Skull and Bones, the Illuminati. Uh, they helped J.P. Morgan and Rockefellers. They, they uh, took over all these central banks. So, if anybody wonders why I mention them over and over, it's because they really do have they have the old boys club. They have all these co-ops that they do. They co-op the uh, Federal Reserve. They co-op the CIA. They co-op everything they can co-op. And they're criminals. And they're, they're drug traders and slave traders. And they've always been traders. And Ev Evelyn, Evelyn Rothschild, he sounds like a faggot. He is a, a faggot criminal shyster. And he's always, you know, that family has always acted real business-like. But they're just working both sides and they always have and they always will and we need to stop it.